and welcome to today's bloggy thingy. I'm concussed. I wasn't feeling too well, so I like went outside of the classroom and the teacher brought me a chair to sit on. So as I pulled myself up onto this chair, uh, my head just like flung back. You know, I didn't, I didn't realise how strong I was and how strong I was pulling myself up. So my head like flung back and it whacked into this wall and all of a sudden the world flipped. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. Um, I've been planning this blog for a while, a couple of days now. Um, you know, one of the questions this year on the YouTube survey, which I didn't do, was do you spend more time writing your blogs or editing your blogs? Now, although I never ever put anything on paper before filming, you know, I spend a lot of time standing in the shower or, or sitting in the bath, talking to myself, planning what's going to go into my next blog. And I've spent, I've spent the last, I think, it's about three days on this one, and I was planning on filming it sooner like last night but then I didn't so I had to I was determined to do it today and then I got concussed so this probably isn't gonna be my best vlog. Take seven. Um but anyway what I was planning on talking to you about is this. You see, in my previous vlog, if you watched it, you would have seen me make an epic fail at explaining a small amount of ancient Jewish history to you. Um now just because I, I failed at telling it to you doesn't mean I don't know it. You know, I do I do know it. I, I've just forgotten it. And uh, later my parents explained it to me. But I'm, I'm not going to go over that. What I'm going to do is tell you a bit about modern Jewish history. Don't worry. This isn't like a boring educational blog. This is just another, like a one-off. Um, after after today, there will be no more no more Jewishness, no more historyness. Just 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 fun. So um, on Friday in college, we were learning about the ge geographical demographics, and uh, my teacher decided to use the Jews as an example, and it got into a bit of a, a, almost a, basically it got into a bit of a disagreement. It, it sort of went a bit like this. So Susanna, where did the Jews originally come from? And then someone across the classroom calls out, Golders Green! And I turn around and said, no, we don't come from Golders Green, we came from the East End. And the teacher's like, no, that's not right. Yes, both of my grandmothers grew up in Tottenham, I think I would know. No, you originally came to Bethnal Green. No, it was definitely Brick Lane. So it went on for a bit like that. And eventually I just sort of left it. And I came home and I told my parents, and my mum was like, yes. You were right, because, yes, you're right, both of your grandmothers grew up in Tottenham, but both of both of their parents grew up in Brick Lane. And I'm like, yeah, exactly, as I said. Now, I knew this, right? Not because, I, you know, I mean, last week's blog kind of shows that I'm not an expert on Jewish history, but I did go to a school trip in Year 7 to Brick Lane, and I wasn't studying in Korea, I was studying Jewish history. So I think I would know, you know, this is the kind of thing I would know. But there was one thing that uh, the teacher couldn't know anything about, and that was that not all Jews went to the same place. You see, both of my grandmothers grew up in Tottenham, but my grandfather grew up elsewhere. You see, the German Jews went to Swiss Cottage, not Brick Lane or the East End. So uh, there's a good fact for you, people watching. The German Jews, when they moved to England, went to Swiss Cottage. So while I'm on this subject, I thought I'd just sort of expand it a bit to modern day, because as I said, someone called out in the class that the Jews live in God is green. The fact is that, you know, that's true, but if you would say to me, where do Jews live? The first thing that comes into my head is Hendon. You see, there's lots of Jews in Hendon, there's lots of Jews in God's green. But actually the fact is, the biggest growing Jewish community at the moment is Boreham Wood, and as well as Bushy and places like Edgware and Stanmore. And I think when you look at it as a whole, you get a very, very clear demographic in that basically the north border of London is basically just full of Jews and, and growing Jewish communities. And, you know, this is one thing we learnt at school uh, at the beginning of our GCSEs is the reason behind the reasons that people give behind believing in God. And one of them is called the historical theory. And what people say is that, you know, the fact is the Jews as a nation have throughout history have been through hundreds and hundreds of wars against much greater armies. You know, the, the Hanukkah story that I failed to explain to you last week is an example of that. 
and, and we've been through all these wars and yet we are still here as a stable you know a large stable community today you know all the, the ancient romans got killed out the ancient greeks yet the jews are still here and we are growing you know my I, when i started secondary school my school was brand new and it was built in boreham wood because that is a growing jewish community and there wasn't a local jewish school in boreham woods so they built one and i just think you know it's this is why, you know, I, I've been sort of away from my community for quite a while now, but I really want to get back into it because I do feel that, you know, that's what makes the Jews so special. And, the you know, that's what makes... I mean, we're, we're still here and we're still growing. And yes, a lot of people are marrying out and a lot of people are are losing faith in God. You know, I'm, I must say, I don't know if I do believe in God at the moment. Uh, you know, so much has happened over the last few months that it's just not been good i've sort of just just lost that faith but i still believe strongly in the jews and i will admit here i don't have much of a connection to israel i've never been you know i'm hoping to go for this summer or next but I, you know you don't have to be a zionist to love the jews and you don't have to believe in god to love the jews because the jews are just great the you know i'm doing a media course now and the whole of the media is just built up on Jews. You know, I'm thinking of going to Israel for university. Like, it, Israel is the, the centre of innovation for all technology. Um, but I'm going to stop going on now because uh, I probably sound really boring to non-Jews. I'm probably Jews as well. And um, I want to end this in a, in a particular way. Now, I am going to send a link of this to the aforementioned non-named teacher that was in the discussion. Um, and so, if you're watching this, hello! Um, you know, and let me know what you think, teacher and everyone else. Um, this, this, this small bit here directed to teacher, if you're watching. Um, you know, let me know what you think. Um, when you do, bear in mind, I literally have made this and all of my other blogs with a handheld camcorder, a bed headboard and a couple of books. Oh, and a Windows Media Movie Maker. So that's all. So, um, you know, you've got my business card with all my contact details on it. So just let me know what you think. But uh, then again, the fact that you've uh, watched this whole video kind of says something. There's no way of getting rid of me. So I'm now coming to the conclusion. And um, before I do, I just want to say, viewers, you know, um, I've, I've been talking about demographics. And demographics are basically the stereotypes that make you who you are. So your gender where you live, what race you are, what you like, what sort of hobbies you have. And, um, you know, I'd like to know a bit about you. I've been looking at my stats lately. I know quite a lot of people watch my blogs and I know quite a lot of people from a lot of places watch my blogs. So, you know, comment below, let me know who you are, where you are, and, you know, the kind of things you like. Because if I have, if I know that, you know, I know what kind of things to talk about and to, to write about and to tell you about. So, um, you know, if you want to hear more about Jewishness, give me a thumbs up below. If you want to hear more about college and me getting concussed and all the crazy things that go on at college, give me a thumbs up below. If you want to know more about history, anything, if you just want to hear more from me, give me a thumbs up. You know, just, just if you've liked this, tell me. It's, it's, it's simple. And if you want to tell me who you are, Give me a comment, it's not that hard. So while you're all liking and commenting, because I know you're going to listen to me, because remember, there's no way of getting rid of me. I'm going to perform to you a little poem that I wrote the other day. Now, you know, I want to be a writer in a 10 years time. I want to be a, a very successful writer. And uh, hopefully one day I will get the chance to put together all of my poems into a book. And hopefully one day, People will start analysing them like I spent all of last year doing with Edward Thomas's poems. And uh, this poem I'm going to perform to you today is sort of the baby of another poem I wrote a while ago. And it, the other poem was called Headway, sort of motorway in your head. And uh, as a result, I figured I would name this baby, the, this poem, the M1 Embryo. Now only people that have watched this video will ever know why M1 Embryo is called M1 Embryo because I think that's kind of a crazy name, like no one's going to get that unless they've seen this blog. So um, you've just received an exclusive. You've got to face your fears, head on first, with a strong hand and a firm foot. Chug, 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 like a steam train. Thank you for listening.